Good day, everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of the Vice Squad, brought to you by the Anadromous Fly Company. Uh, this week, uh, something a little flashy, little flashy nymph called the Lightning Bug. We'll do this one in red, and uh, I know for a fact that they work well. Specifically, soccer fish. Soccer fish love these things. But what we'll do, we will start with a number 12, one extra long. Nymph hook from Togan's Fly Shop, and I got a 1 8 gold colored tungsten bead on the front there. And we're going to use some 70 denier UTC in white, which we'll start by running down to the back. Get rid of that tag. So stop right at the bend, like so. For the tail, we're gonna use some red pheasant tail. So grab a, I tie these with a bit of a bushier tail than normal. Maybe more so than a pheasant tail nymph, which this is uh, very similar to. Really, it's only the body that's different. But uh, put a little bit of a bushier tail on this guy. They wanna make it maybe just a little bit less than the, less than the hook length. To the front just snip it all up next we'll just do some nice tight binding wraps make sure that's all lashed down really well if you give it a bit of a squeeze when you get to the back it'll help that tail flare just a little bit next I'm gonna grab some red wire this is ultra wire size small and I'm gonna tie that in down your side of the hook Try and tie it in as even and straight as I can. This helps with the profile. And we'll leave the thread at the front and we'll tie in the body material, which is uh, red hollow tinsel. Size medium, I do believe, I think it's medium. We'll tie that down to the back as well. Now what I'm gonna do is just build a small taper to the body. And like always when I build a body, I like to spin that thread counterclockwise and uncord it and help it lay flat. That's not too bad. I do want to leave just a bit of space behind that bead just because we're going to put some dubbing in there. So now we'll grab that tinsel and we'll just make some nice touching wraps moving forward. even space turns moving forward. And grab that with your thread, like so. It's always important when you counter rib to hold on to that material because as you're wrapping your thread over, it's it'll naturally pull that material away from you. So you wanna Make sure that you've got a hold of that thread, or that uh, wire, sorry, just so it doesn't 
roll away. I'll spin that out of there. Next I'm going to grab a piece of uh, mylar, pearly mylar, and I'm going to tie that in. Tie it back just over where the body ended. And I know I'm going to get nice good coverage. And we're going to grab some dubbing for this. This is Togan's Prism Dubbing in peacock color. It's pretty flashy. It's kind of the idea behind this nymph. So grab a little pinch of that. Dump that onto our thread. We'll build just a little ball behind the bead. And then we'll take that miler and wrap it over top. Very, very similar to pheasant tail nymph. And reach in there nice and close. And cut that miler out. It'd be good to note that when you're dealing with stuff like this and you're trying to cut close, it, a nice pair of scissors always comes in handy and not to be too shameless about it. But I, I was uh, sent some new product by uh, Anna Dramas and uh, these ribbon scissors were in it. And I've never used this style of scissor before and uh, I've been tying with it for three or four days now. And, and I tell you, I really like them. They're nice fine point, they're nice and light. They're almost dainty and they're getting nice and close. But moving forward uh, with the fly, we'll grab a little pinch of pheasant tail. And we'll tie that in right on the side. I like to point them down just a little bit, a little bit of an angle. And we'll turn that out nice and close. I'll grab another pinch for the other side. And same thing. Snip those up. Like so. All right. So to finish the fly, I'm going to grab. I've got a waterproof marker here. You can use a sharpie. Same thing. I'm just going to color my thread. I'm going to put just a couple wraps to get it started, that color. And then I'm going to grab my whip finish tool. And we'll whip finish the rest of that colored thread down. One too many. And finish. All right. Now, final step. I'm not going to put a um, UV wing case on this like I would with a pheasant tail. I'm going to grab just a bit of bone dry here and I'm going to just cover those threads and a little bit of that mylar just to seal it up. Not to say as you couldn't put a full little bubble of UV on there. I'm sure it would be just fine and probably look really good. But for today, that's how we're going to finish that. At any rate, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. 
uh, I really appreciate the uh, the support that we get from you guys all. Um, if you could uh, definitely go over and check our sponsors out as well. That's the Anadromas Fly Company. I'm sure that they would be more than gracious to see uh, some support as well. Uh, you can uh, check out uh, all of their stuff on the uh, uh, store, which is fishingoutdoors.ca and .net. I believe I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it wrong. I do every week, but uh, Rick, I'll throw the link up. But uh, you can check out all our products online uh, uh, through our store. It doesn't cost you any more. Just helps uh, us keep lights on. Helps them keep lights on. So, uh, at any rate, please hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. You won't miss any upcoming content. And we'll see you next week. Thanks a bunch. Yuck. <laughs> Things I thought were going so well. Until then. Oh well. I'll uh, talk to you soon.